Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this uh, nice infinite series. Sum of n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n minus 1 times uh, 5 raised to the 2n plus 1 over 2n minus 1 factorial times 2n plus 1. Well, uh, first uh, let's take uh, the sum is equal to uh, s. Then, um, as a first step, uh, let's try to find the sum uh, few terms of this uh, summation. So, when n is equal to 1, uh, so here we know s is equal to, uh, now when n is equal to 1, uh, here we have uh, 5 to the uh, 3 power and here we know uh, minus 1 to the 0 power so uh, plus 1 over uh, here we have 1 factorial times 3 then uh, next term uh, second term when n is equal to 2 uh, 2 minus 1 here uh, we have minus so minus pi to the fifth power over uh, here 3 factorial times uh, 5 then next term uh, we know according to this pattern 5 to the uh, seventh power over 5 uh, factorial times uh, 7 then minus uh, so on well uh, next uh, what can we do mm, okay uh, let's recall the uh, series expansion of uh, sine of x we know sine of x is equal to x minus x cube over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth power over 5 uh, factorial minus x to the uh, seventh power over 7 factorial plus so on then uh, let's recall the uh, series expansion of cosine of x we know cosine of x is equal to 1 minus x square over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial minus x to the 6 power over 6 factorial plus so on okay uh, now i'm going to take this equation is uh, number one and then uh, here we have uh, series expansion of cosine of x so i'm going to multiply by uh, both side uh, by uh, x so here we have x times cosine of x is equal to here x minus x cube over 2 factorial plus uh, x to the fifth power over 4 factorial minus x to the 7 power over 6 factorial plus so on and i'm going to take this is equation number 2 now uh, we can subtract uh, 1 and 2 so 1 minus 2 now uh, we know uh, here sine of x so we have sine of x minus x times cosine of x is equal to now uh, if we subtract we know this x uh, get cancelled uh, here minus minus so plus so we have uh, x cube over 2 factorial minus x cube over uh, 3 factorial uh, then plus uh, we should subtract uh, this term so we have x to the fifth power over 5 factorial minus x to the fifth power over 4 factorial then um, plus uh, we have x to the uh, seventh power over 7 sorry uh, 6 factorial minus x to the seventh power over 7 factorial plus so on okay now uh, let's simplify so here we have uh, sine of x minus x times cosine of x is equal to now here uh, we know uh, from this term we know x cube is a common factor so if we simplify we have 3 so we can write x cube over 3 instead of 3 i'm going to write 1 factorial times 3 then uh, here if we simplify uh, we have uh, minus uh, sorry minus sign so minus uh, x to the fifth power over uh, 1 over 30 so we can write uh, 3 factorial times 5 so uh, similarly we can write here plus x to the seventh power over 
5 factorial times uh, 7 minus so on okay then um, i'm going to plug in uh, pi instead of x so we have sine of pi minus pi times cosine of pi is equal to pi cube over 1 factorial times 3 minus 5 to the fifth power over 3 factorial times 5 uh, plus 5 to the seventh power over 5 factorial times 7 minus uh, so on okay now uh, we know uh, this uh, summation of this series is equal to here we have s so uh, this is a required uh, summation so now we know s is equal to sine of pi minus pi times cosine of pi okay sine of pi we know uh, 0 minus cosine of pi we know minus 1 so uh, minus 1 times uh, pi so we have the answer pi okay this is the answer for this uh, infinite sum if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching